Have you ever tried to draw a vector football or soccer ball, football, or something like a logo? It's way harder than you think to make one that looks good and is editable so you can tweak it into submission. So when I started making this video, I thought this was going to be a simple matter of wrapping a vector pattern around a 3D sphere in Adobe Illustrator. I've made a video on this before, so if you didn't know, you first make your pattern into a symbol from the symbols panel, then you chop a circle in half, then go to Effect, 3D and Materials, 3D Classic, Revolve, and if you click Map Art, you can select your pattern and stretch it to the position you want for your design. Now the first problem I ran into was drawing the actual football pattern. The traditional pattern uses pentagons and hexagons. Sorry, this ball is gross. But if you try and draw a flat pattern of this with uniform shapes, you can't actually do it. Hexagon only pattern works, which is why you'll see loads of tutorials that just use hexagons. But these just don't look right. And even if you use this pattern as a symbol and add it to your sphere, you run into the second problem. The top and bottom of the ball get all warped. And that's because you need to compensate for this with a Mercator projection. You might have heard of that before because it's the projection that's used on work World maps. The Mercator projection inflates the size of land the further they are away from the equator. So on traditional flat maps of Earth, places like Greenland appear way larger than they actually are. If you throw a Mercator map into a symbol in Illustrator, you can see this working. So to make a football pattern look right, it needs to look like this. And I was going to do a tutorial of how to make this, but when I tried a simple version, it looked terrible and you need to curve the tops of each of these hexagons, otherwise the top shape ends up looking like a circle. Now what you could do is find a 3D material of a football, position it where where you want it and then just trace this in Illustrator. And Dan Lieberman has made a free one on the Adobe Substance 3D Community Assets page and I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it. That's not a great workflow because if you want to change the position of this later you're going to have to redraw it. So instead I've done the hard work for you and I drew out a vector version that you can convert into a symbol and add to a sphere for the perfect position. And I hope you appreciate this file because the stroke values have been left intact so you can change the thickness of the lines and I had to account for the Mercator projection here by thickening out the ends of the strokes at the top to stop them appearing thinner than the rest. I've even provided instructions on how to use it, so just hit the link in the bio to download my file. Score! Sorry.